So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you uh, how you can uh, prepare your uh, banners for the Google AdWords. Uh, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and initially what I wanted uh, was to have some kind of animation and only show you what you need to change. Uh, but I decided that I am going to create a very simple animation pr from the scratch uh, so you can follow along. So basically the first thing that we need to do is we need to have some uh, sizes for the Google AdWords banner. You can basically go to the Google and you can search it. Uh, I am going to provide you a link in the description for this size. This is like uh, 10 uh, most popular Google AdWords banner sizes. Uh, I don't know whether this is true, but uh, yet yeah, we have in here like uh, 250 by 250, uh, 200 by 200 and so on. And in, in this tutorial I will go with this one, 336 by 280. So I will go to the Adobe Animate and I am going to choose that size, so 336 by 280, so something like this. And I am going to hit uh, create. I am going to create a simple animation. I already created a very similar tutorial, but I just want to show you something before we, we will adjust this. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, I am in the window, workspaces, uh, essentials. Uh, so if you want to follow along and all of these things align and so on, if you cannot see them, you can go to the window and you can get them. But then uh, right now I will go to the rectangle tool. I will go to the oval tool. I am going to choose, choose some kind of fill color. So maybe some like this I will get rid of the stroke if you are going to have it like so and I'm going to just create a shape like this now I am going to align this shape so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to the align tool I will choose that I want to align to stage and I'm going to align this horizontally align this vertically like so and right now I'm going to convert this to the symbol so, so F8 or you can go to the modify convert to symbol and I can call this symbol one I want this to be movie clip and I'm just going to click OK and now what I'm going to do is I will go to the frame 50 I'm going to create new keyframe F6 or the right click insert keyframe and on this keyframe I am going to scale this so Q and I am going to scale this uh, like so if you cannot see things outside of the stage there is this icon clip content outside of the stage and uh, yeah and I will go to the initial keyframe and I am going to scale this down like so and I will go in between and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, create classic twin so so we are going to have uh, this kind of uh, animation. Now I will uh, recreate this animation a few more times. So I am going to create a new layer. I will go to the oval tool and I am going to uh, choose maybe this kind of color. So something like this and I am going to click OK and I am going to create a shape like this. And one more time, I'm going to align this. So I will go to the align like so. And I'm going to uh, convert this uh, right now to the symbol. So F8, symbol 2 is fine. And I'm going to create the same animation. So I will go to the frame 50, F6. Uh, and with the Q or pre-transform tool, uh, I am going to scale this uh, like so. And I'm going to uh, create classic twin. And I will go to the initial keyframe. And I'm going to scale this down like so. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this keyframe, on uh, the first keyframe, and I'm going to move this uh, like so. So we are going to have the first animation, then the second animation. I will very quickly put some kind of easing, so I'm going to click on this keyframe with the uh, control on this keyframe, or you can do it one by one if you want, uh, but I am going to select both of them, and I will go to the classic ease, and I'm going to choose easy out. Basically, this animation means that it is going to start quicker, and then it is going to slow down down at the end so I'm going to double click on this first option you can choose another but I will go with this one double click like so so we, yeah, we are going to have this kind of animation I can go with Control enter or command enter and this is what we are going to have uh, for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the press the layer so I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose duplicate the layers and I'm going to put it on the top like so and I am going to uh, move the keyframes like uh, like this so we are going to have uh, the first animation the second animation then the third animation unfortunately we cannot change uh, the color of them like so because uh, when they are movie clips uh, we would change all of the colors for the movie clips so 
if right now I am going to change this color, this color also is going to be changed. Uh, I could show you, I can double click in here and I am going to choose this one to be uh, red for example and you can see that it is also going to change the outside one. So yeah, and uh, right now what I am going to do is I am going to duplicate this one, so right click, uh, duplicate the layers and I am going to put it like so and uh, I am going to uh, move this uh, maybe like so. So I will go with Ctrl Enter uh, and this is, uh, this is what we are going to have for now. Okay, uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new layer and uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will go to the place where I have my images and I'm going to provide you this. This is something that I have from Freepik and I'm going to provide the link in the description also for the Freepik. Uh, but I am just going to uh, accept of this uh, hand because I want this animation uh, to, be, to be quicker. I'm not going to play a lot with this. So I'm just going to uh, place them in here like so. And what I'm going to do uh, right now is uh, I am going to have all of them uh, on this layer 3. So I'm going to uh, select this layer, layer 3. Uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose distribute to layers. So right now I'm going to have four layers, icon 1, icon 2, icon 3 and CBD. So I'm going to put the CBD uh, in here like so and the icons for now I can, I can move away like this. And, uh, and yeah, and I am going to uh, place this CBD oil to the center. I can align this uh, like so, align, align, and I'm going to scale this uh, down like so, maybe something like this, okay. I'm going to convert it to the symbol, F8, symbol 3 is fine. And I'm just going to maybe move this uh, like, uh, like so, and I'm going to create a new keyframe, F6, uh, and I'm going to uh, scale this up like so. Uh, now I am going to extend the timeline for uh, for the for this uh, uh, last uh, shape. So I will go maybe maybe in here, and I'm going to click F5, or you can right click and you can choose uh, insert uh, insert frame like so. So this is going to just extend me the timeline, and uh, for the CBD oil, I will go anywhere in between. I will right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin. So right now I'm going to have this kind of uh, animation. I am going to move this a uh, little bit. A little little bit like so maybe so it is going to be scaling uh, with the with the shapes and I am going to uh, put some kind of easing so I will I will go to the classic ease and I will go with easy out and I'm going to double click on this option so I'm going to have something like this uh, then what I can do is I'm going to create a new keyframe on this uh, CBD oil f6 uh, so in between I want this to stay in the place and then, then I will go maybe in here f6 and I'm just going to animate this to the left like so and I'm going to uh, create classic twin and I'm going to put some kind of easing so I will go to the, to the first keyframe and I'm going to choose easy in out and I will go with the first option this means that it will go slowly then accelerate and then slowly so I'm just going to double click on this first option so we are going to have something like this and now I'm going to uh, animate these icons so I'm going to move the keyframes maybe in here and uh, I am going to uh, position them like uh, like so and I'm going to scale them down so I'm going to select all of them and uh, with the pre-transform tool I'm going to scale them like so okay I am not going to be aligning them so you can align them in the align if you want I'm just going to put them approximately like so because this tutorial is not about this animation but I just wanted to uh, show you show you something so maybe maybe something like this and right now I am going to convert them to the symbol so F8 symbol 4, F8 symbol 5, F8 symbol 6 and I'm going to create new keyframes for them so F6 like so and on the first keyframes uh, I am going to click on them I will go to the color effects I will go to the alpha and I'm going to put alpha to the zero I will do the same thing for this one so alpha to the zero and for this one I'm going to put alpha to the zero like so and I'm going to uh, create classic twin like this and right now I can move them little bit so like this and uh, like uh, like this okay okay fine and right now I will have to extend the timeline for the CPD so F5 and I'm going to extend the timeline for uh, my icons like so so right now I am going to play control enter command enter and uh, this is basically uh, what we are going to have so something like this okay uh, fine 
and uh, now we can uh, start to work uh, with the uh, with the adjustment for the Google AdWords. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to somehow uh, stop the animation because the animation for the Google AdWords uh, cannot be more than a half a minute, so only only 30 seconds. So what can we do to stop the animation? Uh, one of the options, and this is something that I don't use and there are reasons, uh, is you can go to the file. Uh, or let me show you, I will go with control enter and by default this animation uh, is going to be looping and it's going to be looping uh, basically forever if you are not going to close your browser or anything. Uh, so uh, if I go to the file and I will go to the publish settings, uh, there is this option loop timeline. So I could uncheck this like so, and I'm going to click OK. And right now, if I'm going to go with control enter, command enter, uh, the animation is going to uh, stop after one loop. So it is going to animate, then it's going to stop and it's not going to be animating anymore. But there is an issue uh, with this little bit. Uh, I can show you that uh, I could go, uh, for example, uh, inside of this CBD oil. So right now I am in the scene one, but, but in the Adobe Animate we have like uh, timelines in the timelines and so on. So I can double click and right now I am in the scene one, in the symbol three, and I am in the different timeline. And in this timeline what I could do for example, I can go uh, ahead and click uh, of, uh, F8 because uh, if I want to animate it right now, this is not a symbol because we are inside of the symbol. So this is right now bitmap. So I will have to uh, one more time convert it to the symbol. So I'm going to go with F8, for example, and I am going to create just some stupid animation. So I'm going to go with uh, F6 and I'm going to rotate this a uh, little bit uh, like so. And uh, then I will go to maybe frame 40 f6 and i'm going to rotate it like so and uh, i'm going to uh, create a classic twin so i am just going to have this like a stupid animation something like this uh, but the point is that uh, right now i have in the file in the publish settings this uh, loop timeline unchecked so it should loop only once but uh, this CBD oil, this uh, rotation, uh, it's not going to stop. This is going to be looping uh, forever because because uh, this uh, this option, this uh, file uh, publish setting uh, loop timeline, this is going to stop only the the main timeline, but it is not going to stop the timelines in the timeline. So I can back uh, check this because uh, this is not useful, at least for me. So I'm just going to click OK. And right now I can go inside of this uh, CBD oil and I'm going to get rid of this, uh, <laughs> this weirdness. So I'm going to select all of the keyframes except of the first one and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, remove frames like so. So yeah, right now we have this uh, animation, uh, we have unchecked the, the option uh, to, to loop timeline, uh, so we have checked it, uh, so this is going to be looping uh, forever again. So what can we do? Uh, we are going to stop this animation with the code, so I'm going to create a new layer, I can go ahead and double click and change this uh, name to, to be code, and I am going to uh, right click on the first uh, frame and I'm going to choose actions or F9, and I can uh, zoom in with the control or the command and mouse wheel uh, just so you can see this and I'm going to type this dot uh, stop uh, parenthesis and the semicolon uh, are optional in the JavaScript. I prefer to use them, but uh, it's not necessary. But yeah, I am going to put it there like so. And I'm going to close this with these uh, uh, collapse to icons like so. And right now it is going to give me, I am not really sure whether you can see this, but there is like little A, uh, which stands for the actions. It's, it's like from the action script, but right now we have uh, uh, JavaScript. And when this is going to be at the beginning, and I'm going to go with control enter, command enter, it is going to stop the animation immediately. We do not want this. So I am going to drag this uh, little, little A, and I am going to put it uh, to the end of the timeline like so. And right now if I am going to go with the uh, control enter uh, this animation is going to play once and then it is going to stop okay that's uh, that's fine 
and uh, right now I am not going to show you but uh, this little A if I am going to double click on this uh, on this uh, CBD oil and I would create some kind of animation in here I would also create new layer also create the layer which is going to be code and I would also stop it in here this can be a little bit tricky working with the uh, inner uh, timelines and stopping them uh, this may be for another tutorial uh, so in this one I am not going to go in that so so yeah uh, now what if I wanted to have this animation to loop more times, not only once? Uh, there is one solution, which is like very stupid solution. And there is uh, one solution, which is like good solution. So what is the stupid solution? The stupid solution <laughs> would be uh, to recreate this animation on the main timeline, like uh, two times. So I would one more time create the animation and then I would uh, one more time create the animation and I would put the stop in here so that's an option but that's a very bad option so what can we do instead uh, is I will go to uh, to this website and I will provide you many things in the description because I have to uh, this is just from the Adobe community uh, how to stop an HTML animation after three loops and there is uh, this uh, code uh, the thing is that uh, I am I, I know a little bit of JavaScript and I can create some very basic games, but there are some codes that I simply copy and paste because I am not able to write them. And this is one of them. So I am not going to be able to explain you uh, in this tutorial <laughs> uh, what exactly this means. Uh, but I am going to I am going to copy this uh, and I am going to provide you this link in the description. I am going to provide you this code in the description. And I am also going to provide you I have this like uh, very ugly uh, Word document uh, where I have the, the link and where I have uh, this uh, code and but I have also uh, this uh, dot stop code I can put a semicolon in here if I want <laughs> and I have uh, another things which we are going to use later on so I'm also going to provide you this you can save this to your PC and uh, you can use it every time that you are going to use the, the banner so right now I will go to the Adobe animate and I will go to my code so I can right click and I can choose actions or I can go there with F9 and I'm going to get rid of my code and I'm going to replace it uh, with uh, this new code. So uh, it doesn't really matter what this exactly means. The only important thing right now in here is this number. This number means how many times uh, this animation is going to be looping. So if I'm going to put number two, it's going to mean that it's going to loop two times. If I'm going to put three, it's going to loop three times. If I'm going to put one, it's going to loop one time, but it like doesn't matter. It's like that it doesn't make sense because for one loop, you would use uh, just this dot stop so for now I will go with number two okay I am going to close this and I am going to go with control enter command enter and uh, yeah I am going to play this uh, two times so you can see and so you can believe me uh, so right now we had the uh, one play uh, right now we have the, the second one okay and uh, right now this uh, animation is going to stop okay uh, now you may ask like uh, how many times can I loop my timeline this is a very good question <laughs> and uh, let me uh, let me uh, do do one thing so uh, we can imagine that uh, right now we have this animation like so so let me play this one more time control enter and it is going to play and when the icons are going to come it's going to be like this and it is going to loop again so what I can do right now is I can extend my timeline a little bit uh, for all of these things so maybe maybe I could go to uh, let me go to 200 maybe okay so I will go like this and I'm going to extend this F5 or you can right click insert frame and right now I am going to I'm going to go in here like uh, like so or the better thing <laughs> uh, actually uh, so you can uh, like better understand this I am not going to go to 200 but I will go to 240 so I will go like this and I'm going to click F5 and I'm going to go in here like so. And why did I decide it to go with uh, 240? And basically this means that we are going to have the animation, then the, this is going to stay for a while and then it is going to loop after this uh, 240 frames. We have 240 because we have uh, 24 frames per second. 
So when we are going to have 240, this means that this is going to be 10 seconds. Okay, hopefully you can understand this <laughs> when we have uh, 20 frames uh, uh, per second, then we are going to have like uh, uh, 48 frames per two seconds and so on. And uh, 240 uh, is going to be 10 seconds. If you, if you right now are tired and you cannot think about it, try to think about it, but yeah. So if I am going to have this uh, 10 seconds animation, that means that I could potentially go ahead and write in, write in here a uh, loop three times and that would be fine. But I wouldn't recommend this because we are like uh, right now like touching exactly uh, the half of minute because it would mean that this is going to loop this animation uh, which is going to be 10 seconds it is going to loop it three times so we are going to have exactly 30 seconds and i wouldn't be like dancing around the fire like so so what i would do in uh, that case is i would go maybe to uh, i don't know uh 235 like so and right now i would uh, get rid of these uh, frames so i can select them i can right click and choose remove frames or shift shift f5 uh, so right now i am going to have this uh which is going to be a little bit less than 10 seconds uh times three so it's going to be like 28 29 seconds and that's going to be fine okay uh, so uh, the same thing uh, this is like a little bit of the mathematics but if i go uh, to frame 180 like so and i'm going to get rid of everything shift f5 uh, uh, when we are going to have uh, four, uh, 240 is going to be 10 seconds then 480 is going to be 20 seconds and uh, 720 is going to be uh, 30 seconds maybe maybe what i can do uh, i have in here the calculator so if i'm going to type 24 times uh, 10 that's going to be uh, 200 and when i'm going to type uh, uh, let me let me close this uh, 24 uh, times uh, 30 which is like uh, 30 seconds this is going to be uh, 720 so we can have 720 frames of animation so if i go with 180 i can right now show you one more time with the calculator <laughs> so if i'm going to have 720 and i'm going to divide this by four we are going to have 180 so if i'm going to have 180 then i am going to be able uh, to put this to the for loops so like uh, this but one more time i wouldn't be like touching these 30 seconds exactly so what i would that uh, in uh, what i would do in that case is i would go a little bit less maybe like uh, 175 and i would uh, i would get rid of these uh, frames like uh, like so okay and uh, right now you should understand that if you are going to have the animation which is going to be uh, 360 uh in here not this is 200 uh let me go to uh, 360 so in in this place you would be able to uh, loop uh, the twice but i would go to like 355 and if you are going to have an animation which is going to be more than 360 you are going to have an animation which is going to be 400 in that case you are not going to be able to loop that okay so yeah hopefully hopefully this makes sense and uh, yeah so right now what i what i can do is uh, i can uh, i can keep this uh, where i have this so 175 and i can i can keep this with the for loop so so that would be that would be fine now let me let me save this file so i'm going to hit ctrl s and i will go to the place where i want to save this so very quickly i will go to the place and i am i already have the folder animate and i will go inside and and I can call this to be CBD for example and I'm going to click save now if I go to that uh, to that place where I have this so I will go in here tutorial animate I am going to have my uh, animate file and I'm going to also have some recovery animate file but this is going to be the same but right now when I save this and I'm going to hit Control enter or command enter uh, to see this in the browser uh, what's going to happen it's uh, it's automatically going to publish me uh, this uh, JavaScript this uh, HTML and uh, these images 
and I do not want to have it like so, so I'm going to delete them uh, from uh, here. And what I'm going to do is I will go to the file, I will go to the uh, publish settings and uh, I am going to click on this uh, icon in here, uh, select publish destination and I will one more time have to go to go to that place. So I will go uh, to the animate folder. Uh, here we have our animate file. We cannot see this, but it is in here and I'm going to right click, uh, right click, create new folder. I'm going to call this index. You do not need to call this index. You can call it as you want. You can call this uh, export or whatever. But uh, when I was working uh, and doing this as a job, like creating HTML5 animated banners, we used to call this index and we also used to call this to be index.js. Uh, that was something that our clients like uh, expected us to send them. But uh, you can potentially call it as you want. But uh, yeah, we all the time call this index and index. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to click OK. I will go with file and I'm going to go with uh, publish. And uh, right now, uh, if I go to this uh, to this index, I'm going to have uh, some images. Uh, I'm going to have my uh, index.html. I can double click and it is going to uh, open me this uh, animation and uh, I am going to have some uh, some JavaScript. Uh, before we will continue, I want to show you uh, one uh, little thing which is useful and I also want to show you because I use this, use this uh, with my tutorials. So right now my banner is going to be 336 uh, by 280. But imagine uh, that uh, your client won uh, this size, but he also wants to have uh, 200, 300 by 250. Let me go to this uh, website in here. So we have 336, but we also have this 300 by 250. What you could do, and I'm going to show you two things, uh, uh, what you could do is you can uh, you would have to like uh, go to the file uh, save as to save this to the another place uh, if you want to have like two sizes but you can click anywhere you can go to these more settings and in here you can click this uh, this anchor to be in the center and you can choose scale content and this 336 by 280 uh, it has the same ratio as 300 by 250 so if i'm going to change this uh, to 300 uh, this height is automatically going to adjust and i'm going to click ok and right now i am going to have the banner the same banner uh, the the same proportions and same everything uh, except of the size of this uh, and it is going to be 300 uh, by 250 and right now if i will go with control enter uh, i am going to have the same banner uh, but right now it is going to be to be smaller but uh, this way you can do like uh, uh, two sizes uh, in uh, in advance but let me let me go to the more settings and let me go back to uh, 336 uh, by 280 so i can in here write uh, 336 or what i could do is uh, i can in here in the height of uh, write 280 and i'm going to click ok and right now i am going to have this uh, 336 by uh, by 280 and one more thing that i want to show you because this is something that i uh, do with my tutorials I will go to the more settings and I'm going to uh, change this to the double size. So 336 by 2, we can go to the calculator, we do not need to, but uh, 336 by 2 is going to be 672. Uh, so I can go in here to the width uh, and I'm going to choose uh, 672 and I'm going to click OK. And right now I am going to have this banner bigger. And uh, this is why uh, in my tutorials I use this size. Uh, uh, because uh, from this size, I could uh, scale this down to the 336 by 280. I don't recommend working like this to working uh, with the big size and then rescale this. But I use this size because uh, the this size is like very small for the tutorials. But yeah, let me right now go, go with Ctrl Z back and we are going to have uh, something like this. Okay, uh, now if I go to the place where I have this published, we have images, we have HTML and we have JavaScript. Uh, if we want this to be working with the Google AdWords, uh, there are a few things that we need to adjust. Uh, first of all, I will go to the file, I will go to the publish settings and I will go from these basics uh, to this HTML.js and I am going to uncheck these hosted libraries. 
I am not like uh, the guy who is advanced with the coding or something like this. I do mostly animation and a little bit of the of the JavaScript. So I am not really sure the reason why this needs to be unchecked. But this needs to be unchecked and I'm going to click OK and I will go to the file and I will go to the publish. And the thing is that it is going to give me uh, additional fol folder, uh, these libs, these libraries and there is going to be like some some JavaScript, uh, but uh, but yeah. Okay, so what's uh, what's next? If I go to these images right now, uh, I am going to, I can open this and I am going to have, uh, because uh, I have this as a PNGs, so I am going to have my CBD uh, and these three icons. Uh, I am going to have them in uh, one uh, PNG, which is going to have like uh, 22 kilobytes. There are some options. I will go to the file, I will go to the publish settings and in here uh, we have uh, export image assets and we have uh, we have three options. We have texture, we have sprite sheet and we have uh, uh, image assets. So this texture is going to, you cannot see it right now probably, but convert complex shapes to bitmap uh, for better performance. Uh, so this texture is going to put me everything to one PNG. Uh, this sprite sheet is also going to put me everything to the one P PNG. I can show you, but let me cancel this for now and let me let me get rid of everything. So I'm going to delete it like so. And I will go to the file and I will go to the publish settings. And right now I am going to change this to the sprite sheet and I'm going to click OK. I will go to the file and I will go to the publish. And right now if I go in here, uh, I am going to have the same thing. Uh, there is a difference I can show you later on, uh, but uh, these, uh, these two options, uh, this uh, uh, texture and sprite sheet is going to give me this as a one PNG and uh, this image assets. Let me cancel this. Uh, let me let me delete this uh, one more time. And right now I will go to the file, uh, publish settings, uh, and I will uh, change this to the image assets. And I'm going to click OK. And uh, this says uh, publish imported images as it is. So I'm going to click OK. I will go to the file and I will go to the publish. And right now what is going to happen, it's going to give me all of this uh, uh, to, do, to be like, uh, like separated. Okay, so right now if you want, I can show you what's, uh, what is the very little difference uh, between, uh, between uh, the, the option, uh, these two options, this, uh, this texture and this sprite sheet. So I am just going to very simply uh, create a new new layer and on this new layer uh, what I'm going to do is I will go to the text tool and I'm going to with maybe black color it doesn't matter the font doesn't matter I'm going to just type uh, hello I am going to create one more text so one more time I will go to the uh, text tool and I'm going to uh, write uh, animate and uh, and yes, yeah, so something uh, something like this. Hello, animate. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but what is uh, right now? If I go with Control Enter, we are going to have this text. It has nothing to do with the animation. But the thing is that uh, let me go one more time in here uh, and let me one more time delete this and uh, let me go to the to the publish settings so i will go to the file i will go to the publish settings and if i am going to have this as a texture uh, in here the, it's written convert complex shapes to bitmaps for the better performance so if i am going to have this text uh, are vectors or if i am going to because right now i have these things as a P pngs but if i am going to have them uh, as a vectors these vectors are going to be converted to the bitmap map and uh, uh, the bitmap is going to be in this one PNG. So let me let me go with this texture. I'm going to go with OK and I'm going to go with file and I'm going to go with publish. And right now if I go to the, my images, uh, in my images I am going to I, I am going to double click to open this and I am going to have my CBD icons, but I am also going to have this animate and this uh, hello. So it is going to convert the the vectors or uh, no, no matter what vector, uh, the complex vector. So if I'm going to have a triangle, it's not going to put it in here, but it is going to uh, convert the vectors to the PNG and it is going to put it to one PNG. 
Okay, if I, and I will have to one more time delete this like so, if I go right now, uh, file, publish settings, and I'm going to change this from texture to the sprite sheet, the sprite sheet is going to say, uh, combine all images into the sprite sheet. So the, the sprite sheet is not going to uh, put uh, vectors to the, to the PNGs. So right now, if I will go to the OK, and I will go to the file, and I will go to the, to the publish, uh, right now, what's going to happen is I am going to have only my PNGs in here and these text, uh, these uh, vectors, they are going to be in this JavaScript or in this uh, HTML. Okay, so what is the best option? I prefer uh, to go uh, and let me let me one more time delete this. <laughs> we will have to delete this many times because uh, because yeah. But right now I will go to the file. I will go to the publish settings, and I prefer to go with the texture. Uh, but uh, sometimes when I need to like play with the file size, uh, I could use the sprite sheet and very, 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 very like uh, not uh, really, really often I go with the image assets, but mostly I go with the, with the texture. So yeah, I'm going to click, uh, click OK. Uh, the last thing that I want to uh, show you in this publish settings, I can go to the publish settings and uh, we had these uh, basics in here. Uh, then we have this HTML JS in here. We have unchecked these hosted libraries and then we have these image settings. And in here we have this like PNG and in here we have the quality of the PNG. We have the 8 bit or we have the 32 bits. Uh, I would use this 32 if the file size file size is going to allow me this. And if it's not going to allow me this, I will have to go with this uh, 8. So if I go with this 8 and I'm going to click OK and I will go one more time, file and publish and uh, I will go uh, to my images and I'm going to click on this. Uh, this is going to have uh, like uh, 28 kilobytes and right now you can see that my texts are in there because I have this as a texture. Uh, but if I'm going to uh, change this, so I will go to the file, I will go to the publish settings, I will go to the image settings and I'm going to change this to, uh, to be 32 and I'm going to click OK and I will go to the file and I'm going to go to the publish. Uh, right now, if I go uh, in here, uh, let me let me go in here like so. Uh, right now, this is going to be uh, 62 kilobytes. Okay, uh, so so yeah. And uh, this really depends on uh, uh, how, um, like the, the, the banner should be 150 kilobytes. We are going to talk about it later on. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, like, this depends. Uh, I, of course, prefer this to be this uh, 32 because that's a better quality. But sometimes I have no other option uh, than go with, uh, with this eight. Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, we are going to have these images, libraries, uh, HTML and JavaScript. And to this HTML, we need to put some kind of code. So uh, this is also something that uh, I have in here. Uh, I have this uh, metadata for the AdWords. I have the link, which I'm going to show you right now. And I have the, the code that we need to pass. Uh, so right now I will go to the... Uh, to the place where I have this. So I'm also going to, uh, to provide you this. And uh, basically uh, in on this website, it is not going to be immediately, but in here we have meta, data, meta name, add size and so on. But if you want, you can just uh, save my file in here uh, and you can use it every time that, uh, that you need. Okay, but uh, yeah, I'm going to right now copy this from this website. So I'm going to copy this like so, control C. And I will go uh, to my files. And right now, right now I have this, by the way, in the Firefox. I normally use Google Chrome, but I have some reasons which I'm not going to talk about. But yeah, but what I need to do is I need to open this code uh, in some text editor. So I am going to right click on this and uh, I have like uh, uh, option open with uh, brackets or I can go with open with and I can open with uh, this uh, like with Visual Studio. You could open this with the uh, notepad. I don't recommend this. I never do this. This look terrible, uh, this kind of code without any color, anything. Uh, but you could potentially do this like so. But it's good to have some kind of uh, uh, editing uh, program for the code. 
Uh, so uh, you can have the brackets, you can have Visual Studio, uh, you can you can search. Uh, but for now, I will I will go with the with the brackets. Uh, maybe maybe not. I will go I will go with the brackets. So uh, I can write you some uh, or I can put you some links in the description of for this text editor. But basically, something which will open you the the code. And as I said, you can go with the notepad. But that's look terrible. It's like I wouldn't I would be afraid to change my code in the <laughs> notepad. But yeah, I'm going to go with open with brackets, and it is going to uh, open me this uh, code. And in here we are going to have like uh, this uh, we can ignore, but we are going to have like HTML uh, tag. We are going to some, have some head tag, and then we are going to have some metadata. And uh, this metadata basically is like when you have MP3, uh, like for the music, you don't have only like music, but you have like the name of the song, name of the artist, length of the song, and so on. So those are like metadata. And in here uh, you can put it uh, also at the beginning like so but I prefer to put it uh, in here so I have like uh, one metadata uh, the second one and I like to put it in here so uh, between this meta and this title so I am going to paste this like so and I will have to change this size uh, to the size that I have so I am going to go with uh, 336 uh, by 280 so like so and i'm just going to click save and i am going to i am going to close this and basically this is all uh, that we need to do and what i can do right now is uh, i can go in here and this index i am going to right click and i'm going to choose send to and i'm going to choose a uh, compressed zip folder like this okay and right now i am going to have uh, 130 kilobytes uh, that is fine but imagine that you are not going to have 130 kilobytes but you are going to have like 180 kilobytes what can you do in that case so in that case one of the option would be uh, to go uh, in here and go from uh, from uh, this uh, 32 to go to the 8 or in that case you could uh, you could play and go instead uh, from uh, texture to the sprite sheet or you could play with the image assets but one thing that you could do uh, to help you with this little bit is uh, this website tiny png and uh, basically let me go like uh, like this this is the website uh, maybe many of you know uh, which is going to like optimize your png uh, without losing quality or with losing very 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 little quality but it can like make your pngs uh, to be much smaller so for now i am going to uh, delete this uh, this zip and i will go to my index and i will go to my images and i am going to drag all of this in here like so and it is going to show me that uh, it had saved me 70 percent and it went from 65 kilobytes uh, to 19 kilobytes without losing quality or with losing uh, almost uh, nothing quality so this is great but this depends sometimes it is going to help you like 10 percent 20 percent sometimes it's going to help you 70 percent this really depends but right now what i can do is i can click on this uh, png and i am going to save this so right now i will have to uh, click my way to the place where i want to have it so i will go in here uh, to the to the place to the animate uh, to the index to the to the images and right now i want this name to be the same as this name uh, because i want to replace this file so i do not want to have uh, this to be different name because like the javascript and html uh, are going to be communicating <laughs> uh, with uh, with this file with this name so i will have to have the same name and i'm going to hit save and i am going to replace this and i'm going to click yes okay and now if i go in here uh, i am going to have this only to be 18 kilobytes or 18 point something and right now what i can do is uh, i can i can right click and i can choose 
I can choose uh, send to and I can go with the uh, compressed zip folder like so and right now I am going to have only uh, 80, 87 kilobytes. Okay. Uh, now one thing that I am going to show you, uh, I could already uh, uh, like uh, finish this tutorial, but I just want you to like know everything. This tutorial is already going to be very long, but uh, never mind. I am going to I am going to delete this, and I will go back in here. And what is going to happen uh, is um, I am going to have my images like so, and I am going to have my index.html. And if I am going to right click and I am going to open with uh, this. Uh, with the brackets I am going to be able to see my code and everything is fine but I'm going to close this but as soon as I go to the Adobe animate and I'm going to click uh, file and I'm going to click uh, publish what's going to happen it's uh, it's going to replace my image uh, back to uh, back to the 70, uh, 62 kilobytes right now I'm not going to change it one more time but uh, that's what's going to happen and when I, right now I will, I will go to this index with uh, open with uh, brackets uh, right now my my code is going to disappear and I will have to put it there one more time so uh, one more time I'm going to copy this control C and I will go I will go to my, where is my brackets, I will go in here and one more time I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to put this to be 336 by uh, uh, 280 and I'm going to save this and I'm going to close this. Uh, so right now it is uh, it is going to be in there and in, uh, in Adobe Animate I am not going to play with this right now but in the file in the publish settings uh, in the html.js we have this option overwrite html file on publish so if I would uncheck this and right now I would publish uh, then it is not going to delete my code uh, but if this is checked uh, it is going to delete your code uh, when you are going to publish this one more time and it is also going to like uh, if you go uh, to the tiny PNG to change your PNG uh, it is going to rewrite this uh, but yeah uh, right now I am going to hit cancel and uh, I will go in here and right now I am going to just right click I am going to go with send to and I am going to go with the compressed zip folder uh, so like this right now I am going to have this like 130 kilobytes that's fine and the last thing that I am going to do is uh, I will go uh, to this HTML5 validator I am also going to provide you this in the description but right now I will go with the upload and I am going to go to the place where I want to have it. So I will go to the animate and I'm going to go to this index uh, zip and I'm going to double click and it is going to check me this. And uh, if I'm going to have uh, something wrong, uh, it is going to tell me, but I am going to have everything, everything green. Uh, one thing that I can show you, <laughs> I do not want to make this tutorial very, very long, but uh, I can. I can show you right now, I can uh, delete this and uh, I can go in here, I can uh, right click and I can uh, go with uh, brackets and right now I am going to, I am going to delete this uh, code, this metadata, so I will get rid of this, I will save this, I will close this and I am going to uh, right click and I am going to choose send to and I am going to go compress the zip file uh, and right now if I go one more time in here, upload and I am going to choose this index uh, zip. Uh, this is going to upload me this and uh, right now I am going to have this error uh, missing primary asset check okay uh, but uh, but yeah uh, so so yeah this is it this is all uh, this tutorial was probably very very long but I wanted to show you so if anyone have been here until this point uh, you can write me that in the in the comments and hopefully right now uh, you know how you can publish your banners to the to the Google AdWords and there, there can be still some issues and things we have like uh, issues with some banners because of some reasons and so on but this is like a way to go so this is it this is all thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in some other tutorials thank you Goodbye.